Back live in New York, I'm Brent Musburger. In the first half, Walter Payton carried 20 times for 100 yards, but yet Chicago and Buffalo are scoreless at the half. Elsewhere, New England with a quick turnaround. They scored once, Detroit fumbled the kickoff, Patriots scored again, and the Lions have lost still another quarterback. Jeff Comlo out with an injury, Scott Hunter now playing. Atlanta leading Green Bay at the half, 15 to seven. Many of you are watching and enjoying that game. And a big one. Both teams 4-1. and one. Philadelphia led it by 14. Then Washington came back, and we'll show you the highlights of that game shortly. Now Tampa Bay and the Giants. This is a dandy in Tampa Bay and New York. All of you are really up for this one. 14-7. Tampa Bay string on the line. At the half, Kansas City leading Cincinnati 10 to nothing. And just underway, St. Louis and Houston, they are scoreless in the first period. And tonight on CBS, Trapper John, M.D., will feature our very own Jane Kennedy. Let's look at a scene. Pernell Roberts was the doctor in that scene? Pernell Roberts and Greg Harrison, but they do save me. I don't die, so I'll be back next Sunday oh, on so NFL glad. Today. Listen, Pete Rose watches all the new shows. How does that one stack up? I saw it the first time it was on three weeks ago, and it's just another CBS hit. All right, so we need that? a few more. <laughs> Listen, yesterday in New York, there was the horse race of the year, the Jockey Club Gold Cup at Belmont, mile and a half. I want to show you the stretch again. It is a dandy. Affirmed on the outside, Coastal on the rail, and Shoemaker trying to drive spectacular bid in between. Watch Lafitte Pinkai on the outside. He'll go to the left-hand whip. And affirmed respond. Affirmed the four-year-old a little bit stronger and a little bit quicker in the stretch than spectacular bid and shoemaker. Now affirmed will be the horse of the year. He has earned better than two million dollars. There's lovely Patrice Wolfson. She, of course, is the wife of the owner. There's Harry Meyerhoff. They own spectacular bid and Laz Barrera, the trainer of affirmed. Watch affirm number three takes a misstep after the race. We will be checking on that, and we hope that it is not serious at all. A spectacular bid in the middle took that misstep. Affirmed was absolutely fine after the race. Spectacular bid has already shipped out, so we do not know his condition today, but that was a false step that he took under Bill Shoemaker yesterday. Now, Pete Rose, we've got the World Series starting on Tuesday. Baltimore and Pittsburgh, who do you like and how many games? Well, two great teams. They both belong in the World Series, and uh, I think it's going to go seven games, and I like Baltimore simply because of the left-hand pitching they got. McGregor, uh, Flanagan and Martinez in the bullpen. I, the left-handers give Pittsburgh a lot of problems. Seven games. Going to be a dandy. All right. The Should NFL be. Today will continue on CBS after these messages from your local station. It's almost a cliché around the NFL that the way to attack a 3-4, the kind of defense usually employed by Tampa Bay, is to run right straight at it. Well, here he came, Billy Taylor, serving notice that this would be the giant offense today. That was 27 yards. Taylor this time to the 3-yard line. He carried 15 times in the first half for 76 yards. Here he is going in. Tough touchdown by Billy Taylor. Now, after a giant interception, it was Taylor again, down to the two-yard line. Taylor for his second score, as Sims put it up, only five times, completing four passes. Now, but the Buccaneers came right back in it on this pass, and watch the catch by Mucklin. Stays right with the throw by Dougie. That is a great catch in the end zone. He did not break concentration. Not even Irv Cross could have batted that one away. <laughs> but I was watching that Philadelphia Eagle, Washington Redskins game in Philadelphia in the third quarter. The Redskins had the ball now on, the ten on their 10-yard line coming out. And, of course, uh, the Eagles are leading that game 14-7. to This is first half action. Ron Jaworski in the first quarter going to number 84. Keith Trepley makes a nice catch and runs along the far sideline here, picking up 41 yards, taking the ball down inside the 10-yard line, down to the 8. Next play, number 31, Wilbert Montgomery takes the handoff, goes over. The Eagles lead 7-0. Jaworski going to the air again, this time number 84. Keith Trepley, catch, no catch. Yes, it is a catch. Eagles retain possession. Jaworski going to the air again, number 31. Montgomery, he goes all the way, and they lead at this point 14-0. Theismann gets his club back on the board, or on the board, originally here with a pass to Riggins. Halftime is scoring to 14-7 in the third quarter now. Redskins have the ball, and Eagles are still leading 14-7. Irv, I suggest that we pay attention to that seven-game pick by Mr. Rose. He's on a hot tear. He said New England 
was the best pick of the day. Watch the Patriots. Flea flicker, left-handed. Where's my man Francis? Maybe the best tight end ever. Look at him. Is he a load? Out of bounds on the three. Cunningham, touchdown, New England. Ensuing kickoff, and this really turned this game around quickly. Leonard Thompson set for the return. Took one big hop, and he didn't get a good handle. Had it stripped from him. Rick Sanford to the Detroit two-yard line. And from there, it was Don Calhoun in for the touchdown. The Lions on the board right now, trailing it 14-3. to Now, in another game, many of you are watching Green Bay, Atlanta. Let's check in. Atlanta has lost its last three games under Lehman Bennett. Back they came against the Packers. Bartkowski, Jenkins, touchdown, Falcons. Now, here's Whitehurst. Time running down, looking for Kaufman. That's a 30-yard gain down to the Atlanta 12-yard line. And here came the touchdown pass to Barty Smith. And at the half, that one is 15-7. And let's send you back now to the stadium and the game you're enjoying.